It's a hot dog. <laughs> you don't like it? It's a hot dog. Hey, you can eat it. It's not a toy. And now we're on the road to scent class with Iroh. But of course, we have to make a pit stop at my favorite store, Garden Gallery, because your girl's not just a dog mom, she's also a plant mom. But <laughs> they had these statues here and Iroh was terrified. He didn't understand they were just statue dogs. He thought all these dogs were like mean mugging him. <laughs> Poor guy. I have to show them that. See, they're, they're just a statue. They're not real. I don't think he believed me. But it looks like you, Iroh. Maybe he's a little offended. But before class each week, Iroh and I always come to the garden gallery, walk around. I try not to buy any new plants. This time I didn't. But it's not always a guarantee. Ira likes to eat the leaves, so I've got to keep a close eye on him. But people always like to see him and give him pets, and he always gets so many compliments. But of course, why wouldn't he? He's gorgeous. Mwah. This is a weird strawberry plant. It's so tall. walk by the scary dogs again. He didn't want to do it, so I told him. One, two, three, we're gonna walk by. And we tried. Oh, maybe they were just mean mugging him, giving him the stink eye. He liked this, this golden though. What a silly guy. Okay, now it's time for us to head over to scent class. Okay, Iro and I are doing our pre-warm-up search. All the boxes that have red dots are indicators of the boxes with odors. Um, so you'll be able to see him walk over, he'll indicate which box has an odor in it, I'll reward him with a treat, and then we'll move on to the other boxes. When there are boxes on the ground like this, this is called container searching. Um, we started with three, worked our way up to five, and now we have three three rows of, of boxes for Iroh to search through um, and he'll indicate when he detects the, the proper odor. Scent work, nose work, scent detection, whatever you want to call it. It's a fantastic sport. I absolutely love doing it. I've been doing this with Iroh for a few months. We love it, but I've also taken classes in the past before and, and thoroughly enjoy the sport. It is a, a task that kind of mimics the, the task of a working detection dog to locate a scent, whether it be narcotics, explosives, and then the dog's able to communicate to the handler that the scent has been found. I'm sure you're, many of you have seen it on like Border Patrol or some kind of cop TV show of, of some sort. Um, scent work is, is a positive, challenging activity, and it allows the dogs the opportunity to use their strongest natural scent in a really fun way. It's engaging, and it builds a, a strength. It builds and strengthens a foundation of trust between myself and Ira, or, or any handler and their dog. Ira wanted to sneak back over to the. <laughs> The second row, because he knows it's there and he knows he's going to get a treat. He just really likes doing scent work. Yeah. 
The next was a wall search, so he had to go along the wall and indicate where um, where the odor was, and he got this one right on the mark. Usually wall searchers are not his thing, but he picked up on this one really quick, so super proud of him. <laughs> This one was a little trickier. This one was a room search. So once again, the red dots indicate where the odors are. So he'll have to move around the room and indicate where the odors are. He picked up on this one really, really quick as well. Usually room searches aren't his, his strong suit. He's really good at container searches, but room searches, he he doesn't have the attention span for, <laughs> for room searches, but he got this one. He was right on right on the money. Each kennel club uses a different different variety of scents for, for nose work. With CKC, or the Canadian Kennel Club, we use wintergreen, pine, clove, and cypress as the, the main scents. Um, so right now, I'm not too sure what scent we're using. We kind of switch it up each week. I'm not sure which one he's identifying to. Probably wintergreen, pine, or clove, because those are the, the more common ones. With AKC, or the American Kennel Club, I'm pretty sure they use birch, clove, cypress, and I don't know if I'm saying this right, anise? 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 Maybe that's it. And with UKC, it's once again birch, clove, and they use myrrh. In class, we also work on outdoor detection, so I'll go outside and the dogs once again have to indicate um, certain scents on certain objects while well, outdoors with distractions. He's getting it. I, I missed his cue there. That was that was my fault. So I'm going back to, to restart. But he's a good boy. He gets it. Dogs experience so much of this world around them through their sense of smell. It's a truck going by. Hopefully you didn't hear that. But dogs experience so much of this world around them through their sense of smell. Scent games, scent detection, nose work. It allows the dogs to channel their love of sniffing, and it's also enriching their minds. They say 30 minutes of scent work is equivalent to, you know, an hour of going outside and, and running. Um, it mentally is, is exhausting for them, and it's super enriching. It's another great way to keep them mentally stimulated. You can do this indoors at home with simple treats, or you can do specific classes, classes like this. But Aro is conked out at the end of these classes because it is, it is exhausting, but he, he thoroughly enjoys it. These were the last two searches of the day. He was getting a little tired, but he's still searching. He's still having fun. He missed this odor the first time. I think he could smell it, but he couldn't pinpoint exactly where it was. So we turned around to, to try again. 
He's obviously getting distracted with some other scent, and that's okay. Like I said, he's still young. His attention span is the size of a pea. I think <laughs> he picked up on that odor accidentally. Must have just blown right into his nose. And the last hide was just here in the exhaust pipe on the other side of the RV. I can tell he's getting tired. He's sniffing other things. He's not as focused. He ended up missing this one a couple times. There's something on the ground there that kept grabbing his attention. Trying to help him find the odor. But as you can tell, he's not focused enough. I'm trying to point it to him. So I decided we'll just do one more lap. If he doesn't find it, we'll end it. I don't want to force him. But I want to try to end on a on a positive note. And uh he found it the third time. Third time's the charm. But that's okay, it for today. Class, he is mentally exhausted. He is ready to go home. He'll sleep the whole drive home. I know that for a fact. Once he gets in the car, it's going to be lights out for Iroh. Yeah, me too. And don't worry, we still have the puppies. Haven't forgot about them. They are five week old bundles of joy. We had some family over for the, I don't even know what long weekend it is, Victoria Day. The May 2 for a long weekend that we have here in in Canada so we had some family over and of course they had to get their puppy pets in and the puppies as you can tell super happy to have more people to give them cuddles and love but Daisy's group are all doing well we have another three two and a half three weeks with them before they're off to their new homes they are a fun bunch definitely keeping me busy until next time